you should probably not own an axolotl. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it. Don't click off this video yet, because I'm going to tell you why. But axolotls just are terrible pets. What is up, guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Yes, I said I said what I said. Uh, I don't think axolotls are the best pets for a lot of people, and for multiple reasons, which we are going over in this video. Before you hit the dislike button, just like, hear me out. I have some reasons for this, especially if you're doing some research into axolotls. And if none of these things bother you, then great, go ahead and get an axolotl. But I just think it's important to consider these things. Coming from an axolotl owner of, I think, three plus years at this point, I feel like there's kind of just been a pop culture thing with axolotls recently. Just a lot of people are very intrigued by this really weird and unique creature that is called the axolotl. And to some people, it's actually a surprise you can keep them as pets. Other people are just like, that's a real thing, I want to keep it. So this video is for all of you who are interested in axolotls models and kind of wondered should I get one first off I would like to introduce my little sidekick here this is mochi my leucistic axolotl mochi this video is not meant to hate on you just so you know I love your little derpy face uh, but you are an interesting pet to take care of and that's the main focus of what we're talking about so for one let me just get it out of the way I think axolotls aren't the best pets because frankly they don't do all that much <laughs> like they they swim around their tank sometimes uh, a lot of the times they're hiding and they kind of just derp about the tank you can't hold them you can't necessarily interact with them as you might with a normal pet there's only so much that they do and other than that they kind of just sit there and look cute I would say well I'm, they're not comparable to a pet rock so for instance if you thought beta fish were boring or if you thought even just a fish tank was boring in general axolotls are not going to be that much more exciting for you also very important their care is pretty specialized one of the most difficult things about keeping axolotls is that they are cold water animals so you have to keep the temperature of their tank lower than like 68 degrees if it gets higher than that it can shorten their lifespan and they get very very stressed there's not as much oxygen for them and so you need to be able to keep their tank cool and if this cannot be met you're just not going to have a very happy or healthy axolotl. There are a couple of ways to achieve this. I've actually done a video on it if you check up there. But in general, it's just a little more tricky to keep cooler temperatures for fish tanks. Which brings me to my next point. Axolotls are fully aquatic. And in general, I will say this for anyone getting into pet keeping, fish are not that easy aquatic animals are not that easy to keep because when you have an animal in the water the water is just a medium in which waste kind of spreads quickly it can be easy for the conditions to get dirty keeping aquatic animals just generally requires a little more effort some extra maintenance to make sure that the water quality is staying super clean and healthy for them you have to worry about things like filters to make sure that the waste is being processed you have to do water changes frequently on a regular basis and these are all things that kind of add up to the time commitment of keeping an axolotl which depending on how much research you've done you may not expect. To give you an idea of what my routine looks like, I probably spend 30 minutes to an hour every single week just cleaning out the tank, doing water changes, topping off the water, things of that sort. Obviously it's not as big of a commitment as like your average household pet, like a dog or a cat, but it is more specialized. I think that's a really good word to use. It's just their care is more specialized. To make things even more difficult, axolotls are relatively sensitive aquatic animals, at least compared to their counterparts like fish or even turtles because they're amphibians literally everything in their body is covered just by like a membrane and some mucus it's just very very easy for them to contract things like fungus or disease and just be more sensitive to fluctuations in water quality one thing i do want to interject in here however is that some people seem to have the idea that axolotls are actually illegal to keep this is false while axolotls are functionally i think extinct in lake xochimilco in mexico where they come from they are heavily bred in captivity and widely available to keep as pets so that in itself is not actually a hindrance to keeping axolotls just thought i'd add that the other thing to remember is that honestly axolotls are best in a species only tank or even a specimen only tank so you only have one axolotl per tank some people have had success keeping other axolotls with each other but when it comes to other tank mates like fish it just doesn't always work out 
believe me, I've tried. I've also got my fair share of hate for trying. Um, I tried some white cloud minnows and the axolotl just ended up eating them. Obviously, he's still fine, but those just didn't survive. So if you're looking for something that will thrive in a community tank, I just don't think axolotls are really a good candidate. Another thing to consider about axolotls is their diet. They will eat a range of foods from earthworms to live blackworms and frozen bloodworms, but they don't always take to dry foods, and so you have to be prepared to feed live wiggly earthworms or blackworms and things of the sort. I would also like to add that these creatures can live a very, very long time. Reptiles and amphibians in general have long lifespans, but I've heard of people's axolotls living 15, 20 plus years. These are a long-term commitment and will be around for a while if you take care of them well. So that's really important to consider before getting one as a pet. Also, keep in mind, this is a substantial amount of water that you are dedicating to this animal. I would say at least a 20 gallon long for an adult, if not a 40 breeder. They really do like this space and so this is not just something you can shove in a little five gallon in a corner. Obviously, getting any pet is a really big commitment, and so it's important to kind of consider why you might not want to get that animal, as opposed to all the exciting things like they're cute, they're cool, they're unique, etc. Now, know that this video is not specifically to deter anyone from getting an axolotl. I mean, I guess it could be a bit of a deterrent because you see that they're not all that in a bag of chips. You know? Well, they can be. They're pretty awesome. But it's more to get you thinking about the opposite side of the coin. They are amazing animals. Don't get me wrong. It's just you have to make sure you're ready for that commitment to keep them as pets and allow them to live a long, happy life in your care. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. If you disagreed with what I said, feel free to hit the thumbs down. That's fine too. I mean, you can't even see the dislikes anymore because YouTube removed them. So dislike it if you want to. I it's fine. I, I mean, I can see your dislikes, um, but, but other people can't see them, which is a whole other topic, YouTube. Um, thanks for that. In case you didn't catch my drift, I am not happy about YouTube removing the dislike button. I think it was very counterproductive, but that is a topic for another time. I, I guess if I did like live streams, I could rant about that. Uh, speaking of live streams, once we get to 50 patrons on Patreon, I'm going to start doing monthly live streams to just catch up with you guys and see what's going on. So make sure you join the Patreon to get in on that. Lots of cool stuff going to be happening here soon. I'm actually planning to redo my entire like space here, my entire, entire pet space. So subscribe if you want to see that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!